Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Arabian Dreams. Today's video will just be a short vlog and this is my first vlog on my channel. And this vlog is completely about our trip to Makkah for performing Umrah. I got lots of messages from my friends and relatives asking me about the procedures and how to get a permit to perform Umrah. In this vlog, I thought to share all the information that I know. We actually applied for Umrah through Ethmarna app last month and we got the date for performing Umrah on 14th of November from 12 am to 3 am. So before applying through Ethmarna app, you need to register yourself individually through Tavkalna app and then with any one person's Upshur account, you can register through Itmarna app for your friends or your family members, those who are staying here in Saudi Arabia. And many of them were asking me how to get a permit to perform Umrah if they don't have an Upshur account. Here in Saudi Arabia, it's not possible to open an Upshur account if you are not working. So for getting permit for a performing Umrah, it's not necessary to have your own Upshur account. You can register yourself through your husband, your father or, your, or through your friend's Upshur account and then through the Ethmarna app you can add the companions and get the permit. We actually started from our home by 8.45 pm and reached Makkah within an hour. As I live in Taif and Taif is just about 100 kilometers away from Makkah. We took Hadaz Ring Road so due to that we reached Makkah very early by 10.30 pm itself. But our time given on the permit was 12 am. So we thought we have to wait until 12 am to get inside the haram to perform Umrah. We were surprised because they let us inside the haram by 11 pm itself. So we were very happy that we would get an extra time to perform Umrah. I don't know whether if this happens every day or it just happened today. Whatever I'm sharing with you all is just based on my experience because rules can get changed anytime. So we went inside and started performing tawaf. For performing tawaf, it took around 20 minutes as it was not crowded at all. I think this happened almost after 12 years of my life that I'm performing Umrah with a very less number of people around me. Whenever I go for Umrah, it was always crowded. All the security guards including the male and the female staffs were very particular about the social distancing. They kept reminding everyone to maintain social distance. Once completed with the tawaf, we moved on to perform sai. And we finished performing sai within an hour almost and it was not crowded at all. While performing Sai, I noticed that they have replaced the normal wheelchairs with the electric carts. They even have single carts as well as the double electric carts. And the rates may vary for both the carts. When you go to Safa area, near to the starting point, you can see the staffs there who can assist you in getting the electric cards for performing Umrah. For single electric card, if you are performing only Sai, the price is 58 Riyals and for performing only Tawaf, it's 58 Riyals and if you are performing full Umrah, it's 115 Riyals and for the double electric cards for performing Sai, it's 115 Riyals and for performing Tawaf, it's 115 Riyals and if you wanted to perform one full Umrah, it's, it's 230 Riyals. And the Zamzam water filters were completely sealed and they have allotted the staffs to provide Zamzam water for everyone.
we finished performing umrah by 1 am itself so we thought we could perform one tawaf again as we had permit till 3 am we tried to perform but they did not allow us so we had to leave the haram by 1:15 am itself and the weather was very pleasant as winter is approaching usually it's hot in makkah and if you are going to makkah along with a the driver then you are allowed to go near to haram itself no need to stop somewhere and take a taxi to haram but if you are going with your family and taking your own car then you have to park your car in the parking lot and take the taxi as usual and while issuing a permit it was written that we have to be there half an hour before the actual time otherwise the permit will get cancelled but while coming out from the haram i saw people entering haram to perform umrah by 1:15 am also it's good that they are considering and allowing people with a permit to enter haram even if they are late alhamdulillah we are done performing umrah and we are blessed to perform this umrah i did my last umrah 10 months ago all the information that i shared with you all in this video is only based on my experience hope you all like my vlog and if you know any other information regarding performing umrah do share it on the comment section below so that others may get benefited please do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon below to get updates on my videos thank you all for watching